First at five, COVID deja vu. We're now seeing some hospitals in our area tightening restrictions for visitors. And this again as COVID cases continue to spike daily here in North Carolina. Starting just moments ago at five o'clock, Iredell Health tightened its visitor restrictions. Patients hospitalized at Iredell Memorial will only be allowed to have two visitors per day. Exceptions will be made for end of life situations and all visitors must be at least 18 years old. And new numbers out of Mecklenburg County today show the county has seen 406 new New cases total with 30 breakthrough cases included in those. A breakthrough case means someone was infected with the virus even after getting vaccinated. And Fox 46 has team coverage from around the area tonight about how different communities are handling the question of masking up once again. We start with Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger in Iredell County. In Sydney, the Mooresville School District is now requiring masks and just four days into the school year after substantial spread was being reported in the county. Lindsay, that's right, and the school district tells me they did have some parents protesting outside school headquarters this morning, but they said they had no problems getting students to cooperate. For some students at Mooresville High School, putting a mask back on was a major disappointment. Oh, everyone hated it. It was four days of not having to do this and then right back all over. For others, a step in the right direction. And I don't see the big fuss about it. It's a piece of cloth that you're going to wear. If you don't want to wear it, stay home. But the Mooresville Graded School District says regardless of reaction, it's the necessary thing to do. Our primary goal here in Mooresville for this year is to make sure we keep our kids in school in person. Within their first five days of school, the district has had to quarantine 113 students. They say if everyone was wearing a mask, only positive cases would need to quarantine, which would reduce that number to 12. We understand that they um, have their opinions and strong feelings about, you know, whether or not their child should be in a mask. But we also understand that we have to look at the big picture and we have 6,000 students that we are responsible for. The Iredell County Health Department updates their classification system every two weeks, the district says. Until the county moves back down to the yellow zone, masks will stay on. Like, I don't want to get COVID. I'll wear a mask. Now, the school district says students can still submit a medical exemption to their school principal signed by a physician, of course. At this time, though, they are not accepting religious exemptions. In Mooresville, Sydney Heiberger, Fox 46.